Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video we are going to take a look at a couple of these USB solar charge controller. Uh, some of them come with uh, uh, dual USB ports, some of them are single USB ports, some of them has LEDs, some of them doesn't have LEDs like this one. So, so you want to make something, uh, you want to make a USB solar charger, maybe you want to charge your phone, a power bank or portable speaker or you want to run something uh, us using uh, solar chargers using the solar panels so for doing that you will need a couple of solar panels which I already have so let's say you've already bought your solar panels and now you are in the market for a decent uh, charge controller so when you go on online uh, searching for some USB 5 volt uh, charge controller you come across many different charge controllers that are available some are expensive some are not so expensive some comes with LED some doesn't so in this video, I bought uh, three of these charge controllers. So if you search on uh, any website, uh, usually these three types uh, are very common on almost all the websites. So if you look at the uh, uh, box of the charge controller, you will easily find this on uh, many different websites. Uh, this is the uh, PCB that came in this box. This doesn't come with any LED and this is a USB single port. You can see on the PCB, uh, the architecture or the PCB is very simple there is not much to it you've got your uh, input capacitor output capacitor inductor and your bug boost uh, chip your single USB input and I've connected a positive and negative wire to this uh, charge controller to test it and next we have this uh, type of charge controller I will show you in a minute so let's so I don't have a external power supply so to test the charge controller I'm going to use a 12 volt 1 ampere uh, power supply and here is the output of the power supply so let me just plug in uh, the power supply okay so I've connected the uh, 12 volt adapter and now to test the load I'm going to connect uh, this USB load to the USB output now let's connect the uh, adapter so the inside hole of the adapter is the uh, positive so let's insert the positive wire inside the hole so our positive is now connected now let's connect the negative of the uh, charge controller to the negative of the adapter and when we do that you can see that we we have uh, let me there so yes we are getting 5 volt output no problem so let me increase the current a little bit so these charger claim to give 5 volt and 2 amperes so we are getting 5 volt 1.24 amp we can push it further so we are definitely able to get 5 volt and 2 amperes from this uh, charge controllers let let me just connect a wire to the another charge controller and then test that as well so let me uh, detach the wire from this one there so let's keep this one aside now let's take a look at this one now this comes with a LED and comes with doesn't come with a uh, decent quality capacitors the capacitor that it comes with are your electrolytic capacitor there we go the container is very uh, decently decent quality uh, with uh, is made with decent quality but the problem is that the screw that came with this container uh, the the box doesn't fit uh, so you have to use another screws if you have or you have to put some tape or something like that so as you can see uh, this is the construction is not as good as compared to the previous one it's got uh, fewer components when compared to the previous one and the capacitors are also not uh, SMT cam capacitors these are your uh, normal electrolytic capacitors however one advantage of this one is that it comes with an LED so let's plug in our USB load to this one as well there and now I'm going to connect the uh, wire so I've attached the wire to the uh, charge controller so let's attach the positive to the inside of our adapter 
and negative to the outside of our adapter and it turns on you can already see uh, the LED glowing that means the charge controller is working and you can already see that the voltage compared to the previous charge controller is very low so definitely this charge controller is not going to be ideal so let me increase the current let's see if it even able to withstand 1 ampere or not so yes we are at 1.10 ampere and still we are getting 5 volt output let's increase the current a little more still getting 5 volt output 1.5 still getting 5 volt output and there we go as we go above 1.7 the voltage starts to decrease so definitely this charge controller is not uh, compar comparable to the previous one so this is not efficient uh, when compared to the uh, previous charge controller so let me just take the wire out of this charge controller and now let us test the final charge controller that comes with two usb ports on top you can see it also says solar charge controller and you got two outputs with an led in the middle so let me just connect wire to this charge controller and then we'll do that same test again so here is the third charge controller with two usb port and an led in the middle it also comes with four screws that fit easily and now let's uh, take it out there we go let's keep the box here for now so again it comes with a positive and a negative input so let me attach uh, some wire to the positive as well as the negative so I've attached the wire uh, to this final uh, dual port charge controller so let's attach the positive to the inside of our uh, charge controller and the negative to the outside of our charge controller and once we do that works now yeah so you can see the LED is glowing so let me attach our load to this dual port charge controller and let's see what output we get from this one So we are getting 4.75 volt already let's see okay so the maximum that we can get with this dual port charge controller is 1 ampere through one port and if we go above one port the voltage starts decreasing so there we go this is the test of the dual port solar charge controller and after all these tests we can see that our winner of the all these tests is the cheapest option available which is this one very simple uh, construction and this is the uh, box that it came inside so if you search on aliexpress or any other uh, website a usb 5 volt charge controller you will come across this shape uh, charge controller so and these are much more efficient when compared to these two uh, i don't have any uh, uh, technical data to prove that but uh, uh, this test definitely confirms that uh, this one is the much better option when compared to these two and if you search online uh, for USB charge controller uh, these are the normal option that you come across so these are uh, usually that comes into your search so if you're in the market for a decent quality a USB uh, charge controller for making a small uh, USB solar charger or to power your power bank or phone or anything you want to power then I suggest you go with this one and if you search online just look for this shape of charge controller so let me just attach uh, some wire to this and then we will connect this to my uh, uh, 6 volt panels these are two 6 volt panels that I've connected in parallel as you can see so the positive of one goes to the positive of other and the negative of the one goes to the negative of the other then I've connected a wire and this wire is going to connect uh, to my uh, charge controller so let me just do that and we will test that outside uh, under the sun so let's attach uh, some wire uh, let's attach our solar panel to the uh, charge controller 
So on, to, on the charge controller, you can see that the right terminal is the positive one. You can already see the uh, positive symbol. So let me attach some solder to that. there there so our pads are tinned now let's attach the solar panels wire to the charge controller and let's attach the positive of the charge controller to the positive wire so let me just find the positive wire the positive wire that I chose in the in this solar panel was the the one with the stripes so as you can see one wire has the stripes this is the positive wire so let me just connect that to the positive it's connected now let's connect the negative as well and let's connect it as well So let's take this under the sunlight and see whether this works or not. So here we are under the sunlight. As you can see, we are under sunlight and this is monsoon season. So I've got a very small window of opportunity to do this test. And as you can see, the sun is right on above us. And here is our solar panels. So we've connected our charge controller that gave us the maximum voltage or the minimum voltage drop at a particular current. So here is a USB load tester. Let me just connect it and see how much volt we are getting so you can probably see we are getting 5 volts let me increase the current so we are able to get about 400 milliamperes at 5 volt and it's turning cloudy now let's wait for a little bit so that the sun comes again So yeah, we are able to get about 400 milliamperes at about 5 volts. This is cloudy, that's why I'm not able to get 5 volts. But if it was a complete sunny day, I would have easily gotten got 5 volt and 400 milliamperes. So there we go. This was the winner of our uh, comparison between uh, three of the very common solar 5 volt charge controller. I hope you found this video helpful. I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. And you will find the link to this uh, particular charge controller in the description. And now that we've got sunlight again, let's check it again a little bit. And it again went cloudy. So there we go, you get an idea. Thanks for watching. Bye.